Hi students, welcome to the lesson on adding and subtracting rational expression. Alright, so first of all, let's kind of look over our um, just adding any normal fractions. Okay, so what you would need to add fractions together is you would need a common denominator. So in our case, that common denominator would be 35. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this first fraction by the factor we're missing. We're missing the factor of 7, and we're going to multiply the first fraction by 7 over 7. Okay, and the second one, we're missing a factor of 5, so we're going to multiply the second fraction by the factor it's missing, which is 5. Notice by multiplying by 7 over 7, you're multiplying by 1. And whenever you multiply by 1, you do not change the value of that expression. And same thing over here. So what we end up getting is 14 over 35 plus 15 over 35. And once that happens, all you got to do is simply add the numerators together. So what you get is 25, and the denominator just becomes 35 as it is the same. Okay, so now subtracting fractions, same idea, the common denominator still exists. And here I'm going to examine the common denominator a little bit more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do like ex exercise 21, I'm going to prime factor those numbers. So instead of writing 8 and 4, I'm going to write 2 times 2 times 2 minus 4, which is 2 times 2. Alright, well notice that I think it's pretty obvious that the, common the lowest common denominator is 8. So notice that the factors of 2 are repeated here. Those are already common on both those fractions. So the factor that's missing is the extra factor of 2 on this fraction. So that's the factor we need to multiply to this fraction. So you multiply by 2 over 2, which kind of evens out those two fractions. And now what you get is 7 over 8 minus 2 over 8, which, whoops, that's not a 4, it's an 8. Okay, and what you get is 5 eighths. Okay, so again, those 2's were factors, which were already common in both. So all we had to do is multiply by that extra factor of 2 that was missing in this fraction. Okay, so we're going to use these strategies to actually continue and do the exact same questions using rational expressions. So basically what we did, we found the lowest common denominator, we multiplied each fraction by the missing factor. Okay, well here's the first one. Notice that x minus 1 is the factor on the denominator, so you have to treat this as the factor. Notice that they are the same factors already, so you can actually just go ahead and complete the division. So the lowest common denominator, let's just organize, is x minus 1, and the non-permissible values would be whenever this lowest common denominator is equal to 0. So x cannot equal to 1. And this would be our simplified expression. Okay, here's the second one. Okay, so the factors we have in the denominator in the first one are 2 and x. In the second one, it's 3 and x. So the lowest common denominator, it would be a multiplication of all of those factors, which would be 2 times 3 times x. Notice that factor of x is only once in the first fraction and once in the second fraction, so we'll only therefore count once in the lowest common denominator. And if I simplify that, it would be 6x. Well, there is a non-permissible value here because if the denominator is equal to 0, we have, uh, you're not allowed to do that, right? So in this case, x cannot equal to 0. And again, just to reconfirm, if x equals 0 here or there, that makes a denominator of 0. Okay, well, here, each fraction is missing a portion of the lowest common denominator. So this fraction is missing the factor of 3. This fraction is missing the factor of 2. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by 2 over 2. Multiply this fraction by 3 over 3. Sorry, I went over the, the writing there. And what we end up getting is 9 over 6x minus 8 over 6x. And notice that they have the same denominators now, so you can complete the operation of 9 minus 8, which is 1, divided by 6x. Alright, so we continue on. So here, we have one factor of x plus 4, right? And on the second denominator, we have a factor of x minus 3. So in this case, the law, uh, lowest common denominator would be, one factor would be x plus 4, and one factor would be x minus 3. So it's basically just a multiplication of those two factors. Okay, so the non-permissible values, right, 
would come from those factors. So whenever any, either of those factors becomes zero, you have a non-permissible value. Therefore, x cannot equal to negative 4, and x cannot equal to 3. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to multiply this fraction by the factor that's missing, which in our case would be x minus 3. So we're going to multiply um, x minus 3 over x minus 3 on both the top and bottom, right? Because what we're doing here is we're technically just multiplying by 1. And again, that doesn't change the value of our expression. So I multiply that by 1, and in our case, x minus 3 over x minus 3. And in this fraction, I'm going to multiply by 1, but in this case, we're missing x plus 4. So we're going to subtract 3 over x minus 3, and I'm just going to add to the front. So this is the current fraction. I guess I should probably put brackets there too. And then multiply x plus 4 over x plus 4. Okay, so that's a little sloppy. I ran out a little bit of space there. All right, so let's see what we have in the numerator here. On the numerator here, we have 2 times x minus 3. On the numerator here, we have negative 3 times x plus 4. So negative 3 times x plus 4. And on the denominator, we have, basically we have the common denominator, right? Right now, because we have x minus 3, x plus 4. So on the denominator, we have x minus 3 and x plus 4. Okay, so common mistake here. One common mistake would be people would be like, oh, I can cancel these things out. Be careful. x plus 4 and x minus 3 are not factors on your numerator. x minus 3 times 2 minus 3 times x plus 4. There are no factors identified up there yet. These are factors of your denominator. These are not factors of your numerator. So what you're going to have to do now is you're going to have to distribute these numbers and then simplify by combining like terms. So what we have is 2x minus 6 minus 3x minus 12 divided by x minus 3x plus 4. Okay, and now we can combine the like terms as I mentioned. So we have negative, uh, negative x minus 18 over x minus 3x plus 4. And what I usually recommend is that you completely factor everything when you're done. And notice we do have a common factor of negative 1. So I'm going to factor out that negative 1. So you have x plus 18. Sorry, I'm going to run out of space. x minus 3. I'm going to stuff it in a bit. And x plus 4. Okay. So if you look at it, x plus 18 is not a factor here, so you cannot simplify this anymore. And this would be your simplified expression, with these being your non-permissible values. All right, number two. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to do the same thing as we did before, except this time we're going to have to factor this denominator here before we do any more work. So in numerator, I'm going to have 2x. Denominator, I'm going to have x minus 3, x minus 2, which would be the factoring of that trinomial, plus 1 over x minus 2. So there was a little bit of work to do before I could actually find the lowest common denominator. Okay, so to help change this color here, so it'll be easier to look at. So the lowest common denominator would be x minus 2 is one factor. So notice it's repeated once on each fraction. And x minus 3 would be the other. So the lowest common denominator, denominator would be x minus 3 times x minus 2. So notice that in this fraction, we already have both factors from the lowest common denominator. We do not need to multiply this fraction by anything. This fraction needs to be multiplied by x minus 3. Ooh, that didn't come out very well. Let's try that one more time. Again, it's going to be kind of stuffy. Okay, so x minus 3 on the numerator and x minus 3 on the denominator. So again, I'm multiplying by 1, so you're allowed to do that anytime you want. Because this fraction is missing the factor from the lowest common denominator. And just to continue this before I do any work, the non-permissible values come from the factors on your denominator, right? So therefore, x cannot equal to 3, and x cannot equal to 2, right? So those are when, whenever those are equal to 0 is your non-permissible values. Okay, so then what do I have? Now we have the same denominator. So really what I have in the numerator is 2x, because I didn't do anything to this one, plus... Right? 1 times x minus 3. So technically there's a 1 here, right? So I didn't really put it. And that's all divided by 
x minus 3, x plus minus 2. Again, a lot of people want to say, oh, I can cancel those out. This is not a factor of your numerator. You have to combine your like terms. So now you have 3x minus 3 over x minus 3 times x minus 2. And I can continue to factor the numerator. So I will do that by a common factor of 3. And what we have is this. Notice that there are, now this is a factor of your numerator, because it's 3 times x minus 1, and those are not the same factors, and therefore you are finished that example. It's completely simplified. All right, last example on this page. All right, so what we have is the same, very much the same type of question as what we just did. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to factor the denominator, which is a difference of squares. So I have x squared minus 20, which is not a difference of squares because, well, 20 is not a perfect square. Okay, and then you here we have x minus 2 times x plus 2, and then plus x minus 2 over x plus 2. Okay, well, here we have x plus 2 is one of our lowest com common denominators, so the factors that's repeated is x plus 2, so that's definitely part of our lowest con common denominator. And we also have another factor of x minus 2. Got a little bit more room here, so I'm going to take advantage. And this gives us an easy way to find the non-permissible values. It's whenever your denominator is equal to 0. So x cannot equal to plus or minus 2. Okay, so that was an easy part. So very similar to the last question, notice that this fraction already has a common denominator, our, our lowest common denominator, I mean. This second fraction requires us to multiply by x minus 2 because it's missing this factor here. Okay, so on the numerator, what I have is x squared minus 20, so nothing's changed there, plus, and notice here we have x minus 2, x minus 2, so I'm just going to write that and not multiply just yet, just to show you what, the, what this looks like. And then on the denominator, now I have a common denominator, so I can write it as x minus 2, and x plus 2. Again, a lot of people would be like, oh, look, you have x minus 2, x minus 2. You can cancel them out. x minus 2 is not a factor of your numerator because it is added to all this stuff. It needs to be only multiplied. Okay, so you cannot cancel that out because it is not a factor yet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to expand this. And what we're going to have left is x squared minus 20 plus x squared minus 4x plus 4 divided by x minus 2, x plus 2. Okay, and now you can combine like terms over here. So notice I have 2x squared minus 4x minus 16 divided by x minus 2, x plus 2. And this isn't always the case, but you can continue to factor this, right? As you notice, there's a common factor of 2. So I'm going to first start with that. So factor that, and on denominator I have still x minus 2, x plus 2. Notice that I've never expanded that. I leave it as factors, and that's what you want. You always want the factored form. Okay, and then I can continue to factor because this is a factorable uh, trinomial. So you have x minus 4, x plus 2. Now repeat the denominator x minus 2, x plus 2, and lo and behold, look at that. This is one of those examples where after you factor it out, we do still, we now have a common factor. So we can eliminate this common factor, and we finish with the simplified form of 2 times x minus 4 divided by x minus 2. All right? All right, we're going to do one more example. Uh, notice that there's three terms here. So again, to, to completely do this, to find the lowest common denominator, you must factor all your denominators. This fraction right here does not have a factored out denominator. We have a common factor of x. So I'm going to factor that out first. So what I have here is x times x minus 1, and then minus 1 over x. All right, so now we're ready to find the lowest common denominator. So you've got to look for those terms that are repeated. So here we have x minus 1. Notice it's repeated there. That is one factor. We also have the factor of x, which is repeated here and there. So that, that means that x times x minus 1 is your lowest common denominator. Now your non-permissible values, 
would come from this. So whenever x equals 0, you have a non-permissible value. And whenever x equals 1, you have a non-permissible value. Okay, so now you just got to multiply each fraction by the factor it's missing. Well, this fraction is missing the factor of x minus 1. And this fraction right here is missing the, fa the factor of x. All right, well, what do we have? We have 2 times x plus 1 minus 1 times x minus 1. So be careful here. Because what happens is you have a negative of all this. And a common error would be to miss these brackets. Well, what those brackets are going to do, okay, I'll just complete the denominator here before I keep going. What the brackets are going to do is this negative is going to distribute itself into both terms. So it's, a lot of people would write um, negative x minus 1. Well, it's technically negative x plus 1 because you distribute the negative. So what we get is 2x plus 1 minus x plus 1. So again, this negative distributed into both and then divided by x times x minus 1. Okay, you put like terms together, so 2x minus x, so I'm just going to go over here. 2x minus x is x, plus 1, plus 1, which gives us plus 2, and all that's divided by x times x minus 1. So notice that x plus 2 is the factor of the numerator. You cannot eliminate these. x is not a factor. x plus 2 is your factor. And this would be the simplified version of that. For this last example coming up over here, I'm going to make a, a different video just to shrink the video a little bit. So this will coming on the following video.